uh, complaint about difficulty shifting once the engine's running. No, no difficulty shifting when the engine is off. Um, with the clutch pedal depressed and putting it into first or reverse uh, gears grind, so you pretty much have to put it in gear with the engine off. Uh, so you, with the with it in gear and you start the car, uh, the vehicle will actually want to creep forward even though the clutch pedal is pushed all the way down. You can see here somebody already installed a new clutch cable. Uh, pretty much what happens is when the clutch wears, the uh, pressure plate starts to extend and then that causes it causes you to have or this self-adjusting mechanism need to work harder to release the clutch and push everything back in um, and uh, what happens is that puts strain on the cable and especially when it's an old cable it'll snap either here or inside where the pedal cluster is and that's why this um, is a new clutch cable that somebody had put on because it had snapped uh, so now that there's a new cable on there and it's self-adjusting uh, like I said it still can't um, adjust enough to the point where you can shift with the engine running so we're going to pull the clutch and uh, replace it it's been a while so now i have my nice light and you should be able to see some stuff that you didn't before in my old videos and i'll have some uh, commentary as well obviously it's not necessary to disconnect the um, battery um, i will do so anyways though but Usually all I do is disconnect the positive here and tape up the positive. Uh, everything else uh, can be, and that's why, I mean, what I mean is everything else can be left uh, connected. Uh, but obviously, the safer you work, the better. So disconnecting this just to make sure is the best alternative. Yeah. 10 millimeter for battery negative. Yeah. Little cap just in case. I always remove these grommets right away. I'm going to be putting that engine brace across later. Uh, so we'll take the starter out. In order to take the starter out though, you have to support the motor because it's mounted to the front engine bracket. Once you move the bracket, the whole engine is going to tilt. Uh, see, this is why I don't like talking too much because it slows things down. So anyways, uh, feel free to stick around and watch if you'd like. My headlamp, sorry. That's better. The speedometer, hall sensor. That's uh, reverse light switch. Ground cable. Ground, the ground cable is mounted to one of the upper transmission bolts. Second one's right there. Big Bertha. There's a hidden nut underneath this uh, plastic bracket. I'll show you in a minute. Just feel for it. The 
up, upper starter bolts. There's the nut and there's the bracket. Disconnect the starter solenoid, the trigger wire, or the harness plug for the trigger wire. Take the clip right off. Oh, let's hang in here. 13 millimeter for the battery cable. Oh, the whole thing is moving. That's not good. There's two big cables, one of them is the alternator charging cable, the other one is the battery cable. That's the alternator, that's the battery. Put the nut back where it was so it doesn't get lost. There's a 10 millimeter on this front engine mount bracket that needs to come off. This coolant pipe is attached to it. Knock sensor, crank sensor. The transmission or the rear diff mount. 17 on the top. This will be okay. If you want, you can disconnect it here. Less tension on it. So front engine mount is loose. 
the rear is loose. It's just connected to the left rear, right rear. Sixteen. Garden. <laughs> Driver's side drive shaft always take right out. <laughs> Passenger side you can leave in place. <laughs> that C V boot looks like uh, is it corn spot in this boot. Seventeen, yeah. Yeah. Want to leave the steering wheel unlocked? So you can manipulate the steering, the so suspension components, steering components. That's another blonde moment I had. Waste of time now. I just split it far enough to get the ball joint out. I know you can't see it, but uh, just removing the inner CV joint bolts. Socket is stuck. Ah! <laughs> 
bolt is stuck. Uh, now it comes apart. Okay, so that's loose. We'll let her up. I think somebody mentioned about um, that it's for vibration or harmonics or whatever. I'm just going to move this grease guard out of the way. millimeter up there get that one from the top. I don't know why I didn't this time. Flange seal is leaking, maybe we'll replace that once the tranny is out. Okay, so this guy's all loose, but we have to disconnect the links here. Also, something that I usually do from the top there's a release clip, you just pry it open and then you can use a pry bar to pop the link off of the ball and one the other one's connected to this rod if I use the bigger pry bar.
the support bracket just needs to be loosened so it can be removed. That's the bracket for the ground cable. You can see this bracket is all loose now. It can be maneuvered out. And what's rusty tells me that there is movement going on so that that upper bolt wasn't really holding anything nice and tight. So maybe we'll take this mount out as well and put a new mount in because obviously something's not sitting right. Bit of an oil leak, it looks like. That's pretty much it then already, and we just let it down and uh, remove the last bolt here, but we'll do that tomorrow morning. Oh, got to disconnect the clutch cable. So with it connected still right, right now, what I do is I uh, use a pry bar, wedge it against here, lift up on the arm, at the same time the cable's going to collapse. Um, so we pretty much need to hold it down somehow. Uh, I'll still be able to take it out. There we go. Okay, rest tomorrow morning. Another day, another dollar. <clears throat> One last quick look around. Headlamp. <clears throat> okay, with everything loose, I can now let the motor down. I'm going to just go far enough so that this snout clears the chassis. That should be good enough. Down to the rivets. Yeah. Oh, it's about to poke through. This guy was about to poke through.
98 Golf with a uh, clutch problem. <laughs> Almost broke right through. Would have made removal a lot more interesting. This is the release plate. That's the pressure plate. <laughs> That's the broken piece here. Just a little dimple that sits in the middle. Just like when doing a timing belt, now is the time to replace this seal. Uh, if you don't replace it, it's just going to con contaminate the new clutch eventually. So this seal is part of this whole flange assembly. Hopefully the oil pan gasket will remain in place. pretty good. Ideally, you would want to place replace the uh, oil pan gasket as well, but um, we're just going to glue it in place here. If this happens to leak afterwards, no big deal with the transmission in place. We just take the oil pan off and we seal it. The main thing is replacing the crank seal at this point. <coughs> 